Okay, so let's transform a value. Uh, let's uh, using mixed column. Let's transform a value. Let's say I want to transform value twenty six. So transforming twenty six. All right. What is the first thing that I need to do? Where is what is the location of twenty six? 26 is the second one. It means this is the equation that I'm going to use. All right. So what is my constant matrix? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write my constant matrix here. So A is 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 1. In place of A, B, C, D. Then this is 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 1. This is 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. These are hexadecimal number, by the way. 0, 3, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2. All right. So what, what did I tell you? What is, what is it that I need to do? X, Y, Z, D. Let's say I want to transform 26. So I'm not just going to pick up one value. I'm going to pick up this entire column. So let me populate this here. In place of X, I'm going to write F, E. All right. In place of Y, I'm going to write 26. See, the actual value I want to transform is 26, but I'm going to pick up this entire column where this 26 is located at. So, so Z is going to be C9 and 63, 40. All right, so far so good. So in order for me to do that, so let me write this equation down. So what is it in order for me to transform 26? What is it that I need to do? I need to, let me quickly change the pen. Okay, so here's my definition is going to be. So definition of this is going to be 0, 1, x, which is Fe, multiply by 0, 1, plus 26, which is y times f, which is 0, 2, multiplied by 0, 2. And what is it? Uh, plus gz, which is 0, 3, c9, multiplied by 0, 0, 3. And h, which is 63, multiplied by 0, 1. All right, that should give me the transformation of 26 using mixed column. And this, this is when I multiply them together. And, and when I add them up, this is what I would get. All right, so how do I actually do it? So let's do this. All right, so let's pick up individual of these values and work out the math for it, okay? So let's let's pick up this guy. What is so I hope you all can see this. Let me move this down here. All right. So what is so let's do the first thing. Fe multiply by 0 1. All right. So what is Fe? Fe in binary F is just going to be 0 0 0 0. Uh, I'm sorry. It's going to be 1 1 1. I'm sorry. 1 one, one, one. This is a 15. Let's just recap what is in, uh, so A in hexadecimal, in hex, we have A, B, C, D, E, F. So this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right. So this is just 1, 1, 1. What is my E? So this is F and E is what? E is uh, uh, E is 14. So 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 2 and 0. All right. So this is what it is. Let's transform this into something called in polynomial form because uh, this is what we've been working with. So let's do this. So once I transform that into polynomial form, 
this is how it looks like I'm just looking for another color of pen okay let's do this I know x raised to 0 is 1 and this bit is 0 so this will remain 0 so this is going to be n and so x raised to 0 x raised to 1 x raised to 2 x raised to 3 x raised to 4, x raised to 5, x raised to 6, and x raised to 7. So this is going to be x raised to 7, starting from the left hand side. So x raised to 6 is high, x raised to 5 is high, x raised to 4 is high, x raised to 3 is high, 2 is high, x raised to 1 is high, and x raised to 0 is 0. So this is Fe. Same thing I'm going to do for 0, 1. 0, 1. What is 0, 1, guys? 0, 1, since it's a hexadecimal number, 0, 1 is just simply 0, 0, 0, 0. This is 0. And 1 is what? 0, 0, 0. X raised to 0 is just 1. X raised to 0. Any number raised to 0 is 1. So this is it. All right. So this x raised to 0, this is in a position, so x raised 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and x raised to 0, so this is just going to be 1. So even in polynomial form, this is just going to be 1. All right. So first we have transform Fe multiplied by 0, 1. Uh, Fe and 0, 1 into hexadecimal in, by, uh, I mean, in uh, polynomial form. What is the next thing that I need to do? I'm just going to simply multiply them together. That's it. So, multiply them together. Fe multiply 0, 1. So, this is just like saying x to the 7, x to the 6, plus x to the 5, plus x to the 4, plus x to the 3, plus x to the 2, plus x. And I'm going to multiply this by 1 what do I get guys I get exactly the same thing back isn't it I get exactly the same thing back so this is going to be if I go 4 all right this is the first step that we need to do I'm going to do exactly the same thing for 26 and 0 2 so 26, now the second step is 26 multiplied by 0, 2. So 26 is just going to be 2. So 0, 0, 1, 0. 6 is 0, 1, 1, 0. All right, let's transform that real, real quick in, uh, in, in terms of, uh, let's call it, uh, in polynomial form. So this is just going to be x to the 1 plus x to the 2 x to the 3, x to the 4, x to the 5, x to the 5. What is 0, 2 quickly? 0, 0, 0, 0. And 2 is going to be 0, 0, 1, 0. What is the value of x of 1? It's just x. x raised to 1 is just simple x. All right? So, so let's multiply that this together. 26 multiplied by 0, 2. So this is going to be x to the 5 plus x to the 2 plus x, x raised to 0, x raised to 1, x raised to 2, multiply by x. When I multiply them, what do I do? x to the 6. When the bases are same, we're just uh, adding powers. x to the 3, x to the 2. So I'm going to leave this as is. Now, you guys must be wondering something. So let's do this. All right? So let's leave a gap for this. And let's do number 3. All right? Okay, number 3, C9, C9 multiplied by 0, 3, C9 is actually, so C is actually 12, so this is going to be 8 plus 4 is 12, so 0, 0, this is C, and 9, 9 is 8, oh sorry, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is 9. Okay, so this is going to be x to the 7 plus x to the 6. And this is x to the 3 plus 1. All right, what is 0, 3? When I take 0, 3, I guess 0, 3 is going to be what? 
uh, 0, 3 is 0, 0, 0, 0. 3 is going to be 0, 0, 1, 1. This, when I transform this into polynomial form, this is just going to be x plus 1. All right. So now let's do the, now, now here's the step. Okay. So let's do this. So let's multiply x, c9 multiplied by 0, 3. All right. So far, so good. So c9 is x to the 7 plus x to the 6 plus x to the 3 plus 1. Multiply by x plus 1. So let's distribute x first. So first thing is going to be x to the 8 plus x to the 7 plus x to the 4 plus x. Now we also have to multiply 1 as well. So let's multiply this 1. So I'll get x to the 7, x to the 6, x to the 3. 1 multiplied by 1 is just simple 1. Now guys, in normal math, what do we do when we have this? Whatever the operation is, we will perform this. But in Galois field, in AES, modulo 2 arithmetic, what we have to do, we have to actually do modulo 2 arithmetic.